Hallelujah family, God bless you and you are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. If this is the first time you're seeing me or coming across my channel, a very big welcome to you and thank you so much for stopping by. I do not believe in coincidences. I know if God let you here, it should be for a good reason. And it is just my prayer that you stick around long enough to benefit from that reason why God sent you here. Hallelujah. On this channel, we share the word of God. I give you prophetic words and prophetic declarations as the Lord lays it in my heart and as he gives me utterance. I also intercede for you so that the promises of God over your life manifest speedily. Hmm. It was a bad day. It was a bad day. You know, it just dropped. This thought just dropped in my mind like King David was one of those um, people. The Bible says the man after God's heart. And it was a man that he says his fingers were trained for battle and his, and his hands for war. His daily routine was was um, characterized by going to battle and fighting wars. From when he was a little lad until when he grew up, he became a king. He still fought battles. God had anointed him to fight battles. Hallelujah. And this one day, when king were going to battle, when, king were, when kings were going to war, he decided to stay back home, not to go to war on that day. And it was on that day that he was just taking a stroll on the rooftop when he saw Bathsheba taking her bath. And we all know what happened with Bathsheba. He had to fall into temptation or in, into sin with Bathsheba. Bathsheba was someone else's wife. That singular act led him into killing Bathsheba's husband, who is Uriah, and later took Bathsheba as a wife. And that one singular act destroyed King David's kingship. It made um, um, internal conflicts and battles. There was a curse upon David from God. From God. Right after that incident, you see how his kingship, his rulership became difficult. His children rose up against the children and things became difficult. And when God dropped this in my mind, I was like, whoa. So I was thinking to myself, you know, the Bible says that we should walk at our salvation with fear and trembling. It means every day there is no public holiday for Christians. There is no public holiday for Christians. There's a place in the Bible that says that when God comes, he's going to take you for who he finds you. If he meets you for a sinner, he's going to take you for a sinner. And if he meets you for a righteous man, he's going to take you for a righteous man. So there is no day you take a vacation. There is no public holiday to you as a Christian. That is why you've got to walk your salvation with fear and trembling. Whatsoever you are doing, you've got to do it consistently. You've got to be consistent. You know, even there is no day, even in your place of work, you've got to be consistent because there is that one day that you decide to relax and everything goes wrong. I call it that one bad day. It was a bad day and it turned your life around forever. The day you decide to take alcohol, you told yourself you're never taking alcohol. You, you, you know, as a kingly priest that you are, you know alcohol is not meant for you. And just that one day you decide to take alcohol and you find yourself ending up in fornication and probably carrying a venereal disease or a kind of sickness. That one bad day, that one bad day, We've got to pray that God should help us. I know it's not easy to be right every day of your life. I know it's not easy to do the right thing consistently. That one bad day when things turn around and it is not easy. You know, whenever you're supposed to be doing something and you're not doing that thing, be careful. The devil is going to use that spare time to afflict you. Whenever you're supposed to be doing something and you are not doing that thing. If, for instance, you are sent on a mission and instead of going um, to perform your duties during that mission trip and you decide to do something else, it never ends well. Whenever you're supposed to be on duty, it doesn't matter what whatever aspect of your life and you decide not to do that thing something always goes wrong just check take a look think about just think about it just retrospect you're going to notice that what i'm telling you right now is true whenever you were supposed to be doing something and you decided not to do it at that time something bad happened probably you met the wrong person
and sometimes god you know god god's way of protecting us is by keeping us in the right track is by us doing what we are supposed to do when we are supposed to do it and when you leave that thing it doesn't matter what we always fall into sin we always fall into something wrong hardly is the devil going to afflict you or the devil going to uh, going to come at you when you are doing what you're supposed to be doing because there is grace enough for you to cover you there is grace available to cover you in in that given um, in that given activity you have been given Whenever you are on a mission, there is grace to cover you on that mission. But whenever you decide to not do what you're supposed to be doing at that time, something bad could happen to you and there is not great grace enough to cover you. I pray for you that you do the right things at the wrong right time in the name of Jesus. You keep doing the right things. You keep doing the right things at the right time in the name of Jesus. The devil is not going to have access to your life schedule in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.